Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, I'm Stephanie. Today I am doing every single thing I bought in Europe. I went to Europe for a whole month and we're talking every single place you can think of. Literally started in London. From London we went to Paris, we went to Amsterdam, Belgium, we went to Germany. Um, where did we go from Germany? From Germany we went to Switzerland and then we went to the south of France, certain areas. We also went, we went to Italy, we went to Lake Como, we went to Venice, Florence, Rome. From there we went to Nice, to Monaco, Monte Carlo, which was one of my favorite spots ever. Um, then we went to Spain, and in Spain we went to Barcelona, Ibiza, and then Madrid. So I went to a lot of places and I just shopped like crazy because it was the first time i was in europe first of all but in general it's europe so i wanted to buy a bunch of things and this is my haul so i hope you guys enjoy remember to like this video comment down below um which spots have you gone to europe and which in your opinion is the best to shop at and yeah let's get into the video I did buy a lot of things so I'm just gonna kind of go really fast and we're gonna first start with accessories so I bought three handbags um, it might not sound like a lot but I these are the ones that I really wanted so I went into Europe knowing specifically Florence because obviously it's mainly leather um, it's a leather place you just go buy you go to Florence to buy leather. Um, and I bought three handbags. I wanted specifically a red color and a black color because those are my favorite favorite colors. Pink is also one of my favorite colors, but these are just classics to me. And I got the, you can kind of see the handle here. This one I absolutely love. There's this place called Leonardo Gold and Leather. This specific spot where I bought the bags, where I bought the bags, it's like three stops behind that or in front of that. I can't remember the name of the store, but the guy was the sweetest. I absolutely adored him. So I don't remember the name of the store. But this is the first one I got. It's this beautiful black bag, as you can see. It's leather and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Now what I love is that you can wear this bag in three specific ways. This is one of them. So it would obviously go over your shoulder and you could just wear it like this. Um, there is also um, a removable like strap. And you can lower this to another height wear it like this really cute like this tiny little bag which i also think is adorable and then the final way it did come with like this little gold hoop and you just connect it and you could also wear it like this which is just a different look i personally like um I don't hate it but I also it's like it's just interesting like you can wear it like this just holding it and it's so so very cute love it it's absolutely gorgeous the second bag I got from the same place is this red one um, I still haven't taken the tag off it but I just love this it's absolutely gorgeous it has the little handle so this is the size inside is absolutely beautiful it's just completely black and it feels amazing it also smells amazing. I know a lot of people don't like the leather smell. I personally love it. These bags do have like a little crossover a crossover um, handle. So you can wear it like a crossover. I don't necessarily know if I would wear it like that. I personally like just this baguette style. From the Leonardo leather place, I did get this wallet. It's absolutely stunning. It's just this beautiful red. As I mentioned, red is my favorite color. I did get it in grade, so it does say SJ, which is my initials, and it's just a perfect wallet. I wish they would have this in black. This specific, um, I guess, size, because I like my wallet to be very tiny. It obviously has a slot for money. Um, all your cards, it's just absolutely perfection. I wish I knew the store name if i could find it i'll try to put it down below in the description but the best guy ever if you go there tell him stephanie sent you and he'll know exactly who um who you're talking about 
this next one which was really funny both of those came from florence i saw this green beautiful bag in florence it's absolutely gorgeous it's by furla that's the brand as you can see kind of has like uh upside down u or like an n and then like the f when i first saw this in florence i had already spent a lot of money not only in bags but heels and my first thought was like i cannot be spending this much money especially when we were halfway through the trip if that makes sense so i walked in i saw the mini version of this and i was like how much is that she told me a certain price which was not true the certain price she gave me was for the big one and i remember thinking such a tiny bag and it's that much i was like no thank you like i do not want to pay that so whenever i see something beautiful gorgeous that i want to buy i always take a picture of it so if anything i could just go back and get it i didn't do that this time and for the longest time i was searching up on google after we left florence i was searching up i live right next to an airport so if you could hear the airplanes i'm sorry but um i was searching for like an like an n logo brand from italy could not find it um eventually we made it to barcelona and we were taking we were riding a bus to have a tour around the city and i see this bag in white and i'm like oh my god that's the brand so i took a picture of it finally went to it and i finally got the bag this is just a beautiful gorgeous bottega green bag i don't have this color in any of my handbags and i have a collection and i just needed it so when i walked in i didn't really care that of the price she told me but then the lady was like no the price for that bag is for the big one because they also had the tiny one in display and this bag is just perfection like i didn't care like it was absolutely gorgeous and those are the three bags i officially got i also got this tote bag in paris this is um from les garnier um which is the royal opera house and they also do the ballet there it's just such a gorgeous place if you go to paris you need to go there i also got this pin from there which is just absolutely gorgeous i love the ballet i love anything that is just a performance art love it so going there i saw this and i'm not a huge tote bag girl i mainly like handbags but i saw this i saw it's my favorite color the like baby pink a pastel pink and i was like i need this so i bought that and those are mainly the handbags i got i really wanted to show the perfumes and i didn't necessarily want to just grab them uh and take them over there so i'll just show you because i got a couple of them in france i decided to go to this fragrance factory if you will and i i don't know the name of the place i just know it says made in france and i wish i would have taken a picture of it but um this perfume is etoile i think i'm saying that wrong but this one reminds me so much of chanel chance it smells exactly like it um it's just such a gorgeous smell and i feel like i could probably search it up and if it pops up i'll get the big size but since i was traveling and i didn't know how much i was gonna be able to take with me i grabbed the mini versions of it i also got belle Cherie. Oh, this one smells absolutely stunning i got a pack so i got five in total um i kept these two gave two to my mom and i have one extra for a gift like if anyone ever asked me like, oh what are you wearing i could be like it's from friends i have no idea um i also from zara i went crazy in zara and you'll see that in a second i got the gardenia um perfume which is just amazing how inexpensive zara is in europe obviously i know the headquarters is spain so it makes a lot of sense but this one is a dupe i mainly got dupe perfumes for other ones so this is i think for ysl is it ysl it's opium i think that's the name of the perfume and it smells exactly like it this this big bottle was very inexpensive i feel like here it's so expensive and over there it's non-existent um i also got sherry cherry smoothie this one i think is a dupe for tom ford I can't remember which one but it's a dupe for that all this i saw on tiktok and then finally i got zara red temptation which i believe is also another dupe for like another um what is it called bearcat i feel like i'm saying that wrong but the very expensive perfume and those are all the perfumes i got okay i feel like you can see um a lot of my bookshelves here but i want to talk about heels now that's the next accessory that i will talk about so i went crazy with the heels and i bought a lot of designer heels um these right here are not 
designer necessarily, but these are from the Leonardo of uh, leather shoes made in Italy, made in um, Florence. So they're absolutely stunning. They are so gorgeous. They're these red leather pumps, patent leather. It's absolutely sexy. It's stunning. I love them. I personally, these are like my favorite heels to wear ever. And I kind of regret not buying the black ones, but I'm not going to say that necessarily because you'll see which black ones I decided to go with um, from the same place. So I decided to get these and it was just a sign to get these because I was dressed amazing in Europe. But this specific day I was wearing slacks. I was like in a nude outfit and I put them on and I remember everyone walked into that store, whether they were tourists, whoever they were. And they saw me wearing these and they were like, you need to get them. They look amazing. And I'm happy I did get them because they're absolutely stunning. Here you can't see, but I have a bunch of heels displayed. Um, they don't fit there anymore. So I just put them on top of here and it works. These next ones I got from Amsterdam. Um, these are vintage Dolce Gabbana heels. They're absolutely stunning. They're these lace gold and they are just beautiful they're kitten heels so they are very comfortable i haven't worn them yet necessarily i don't know when i will probably this summer but i i just i'm obsessed with them i walked into amsterdam not thinking i was gonna find necessarily anything i wasn't looking and i stumbled upon the best and i mean the best um designer pieces ever so these are the Dolce gabbana vintage heels up here i know you can't see bringing them down these are the black heels i got from leonardo they are absolutely stunning first of all they have this gorgeous detail at the front that sparkles it's gorgeous um it's like the satin material it's sling back heels not necessarily kitten heels but not necessarily too tall either maybe like a good four inches and they are just beautiful i love these i have a bunch of heels with this type of material that i bought in december i did like a crazy sh uh, like heel haul that i never posted on youtube but i bought a bunch of heels in december to trick myself and I bought a bunch of them like this and I'm happy I never bought any black ones because these are the ones I bought in Florence as well from the same place and they're just absolutely stunning. Okay, these next pair of heels are also vintage designer. These I found also in Florence. Not even looking, I stumbled upon this place and it was the best thing ever because I found vintage Prada kitten heels and they are absolutely stunning. You can see how they look. The only thing that kind of sucked is that these are in perfect condition. There was a lot of other designer heels I ended up eventually found. But either the back was broken, something about it was no longer, I guess, in perfect condition. And I didn't want to buy that. Um, these were in perfect condition. But we went to Monte Carlo, Monaco. And I wore these. And I got stuck in the escalator. And it completely took off the very end of the heel. I'm going to get them fixed, which is not a big problem that this happened but i do know that this tends to happen a lot with a lot of designer heels for example louis vuitton um christian louboutins if you wear them in an escalator be very careful because a lot of them end up getting stuck i don't know if it's just designer heels i feel like it is um you get stuck and it's hard to get off and most of the time the heels get completely ruined i was able to kind of get them unstuck before we reach the end but yeah this happened so i have a little story about them but they're gorgeous prada heels the last pair of heels i ended up getting um all of them are from zara except two of them these i bought in barcelona i believe once i got to barcelona especially just spain in general i went crazy because as i mentioned zara is very inexpensive there i got these gorgeous green heels i wouldn't call them bottega green um it's kind of like i don't know what to call these like green heels they look a little bit blue on screen but they're not blue at all they're just this gorgeous green and these were amazing these were 35 euros i believe which in the u.s these are literally like 50 dollars so a great steal and they're just absolutely gorgeous i can't wait to wear them in the summer um i also got these in amsterdam these were one of the first pair of heels I bought besides the Dolce & Gabbana ones and they're just absolutely gorgeous as well they're like this I kind of want to call them like a fuchsia pink they're absolutely stunning they look like this and then this is the little heel and it obviously wraps around your ankle like this 
they're just gorgeous and these were also i believe oh these were 39 euros but as i mentioned these are usually like 59 dollars in the u.s so they were a great steal and then the last thing from zara are these kind of like sandals they're these brown sandals they have this little like block heel they're really tiny and this is what they look like i just think these are classic for summer and these were 19 euros so very inexpensive they were on sale from 39 to 19 so it was an amazing deal and i just kind of grabbed them because they were on sale but i feel like it could go with anything last two pair of heels um i got these in rome i don't know the store name but i know i bought them um where mango zara where all those stores are at that's where i got them um they're just these classic white sling back heels i specifically loved how it has this little square detail um it's once again maybe like four inches um and it's a sling bag it's just gorgeous and i'm happy i didn't get the black color in this because obviously i ended up getting the leonardo black sling bag heels and i prefer those over this um but i love this i feel like this is such a classic shoe and i obviously got them in white but i ended up also getting the same exact pair in pink and this is what they look like once again they're very stunning so imagine if i would have gotten the black ones and then got in the black ones from the leonardo place it just wouldn't have worked but yeah these are gorgeous and i just i just think they're perfect i got like a skirt in this exact color and it works out because i can wear them together pair them up together to near the hall we're going on to clothes so you could kind of see this bag and display but one of the first things i got well not the first thing i got the only sweater technically i got over there was this beautiful baby blue sweater it looks very blue on camera but it's more like a little pastel blue venice italy it says travel in italia now the funny story about this um we were in venice it was very rainy we saw this i saw this sweater and i absolutely loved it i asked the guy he was like it's 20 euros and i was like okay like let me just look around because there was a lot of vendors if you've been to venice you see a lot of vendors um we walked around and the price just started getting up and up and up it was like it went from 25 euros up to like 35 to 40 40 euros so then we tried looking for the original vendor we find we found him the only sweater he had was sold out so we had to go looking around and i couldn't find it anymore then we were really we were leaving and suddenly i see the sweater and i'm like i need to grab that before we get on the boat like i cannot leave without this sweater i literally go to the guy i'm like here take my money i think i ended up paying 25 euros which was okay i honestly didn't care at that point um it wasn't until later that i saw that it says travel in italia and i don't necessarily love that part because my friend ended up getting the same sweater um but she got it from a different vendor later later on as we were like literally about to get on the boat and her says what a wonderful city and part of me feels like i got duped because i would have preferred my sweater said a wonderful city instead of saying travel in italia which is fine but i got this beautiful blue sweater and i love wearing it move on into lingerie and sleeping gowns because i got a bunch of that and i got all of that in paris and i got that in rome i think i want to say too and florence so from florence i got these two slips where are they're just absolutely gorgeous it's this beautiful baby pink um once again like this pastel pink it's one of my favorite colors ever and i absolutely love it it's such a gorgeous color and this is specifically what i wanted and i ended up getting this one but i hate when red just doesn't look red and it ends up looking like an orange it's like i want a deep red and this even though on camera it's not gonna look like that it's a beautiful deep red it literally looks orange on camera but it's a gorgeous deep red and i love it i just love the slip it's gorgeous so i got this color as well from rome is it no from florence these were from florence from the same store two of them i got in rome which i kind of regret getting it in rome because I first bought some in Paris and I should have just gotten all of them in Paris but I wanted to wait to see if I found other stores eventually down the trip which I kind of didn't um and I ended up getting the rest of them in Rome but the problem was that I didn't get the tax duty free thing I don't know how to word it um in Rome but in Paris I did so I wish I would have just bought all of them in Paris so I could have gotten better like tax return so I got this black one with lace you can kind of see it here it's absolutely gorgeous and all of the rest of them are from intimissimi 
into missing me um apparently j-lo is a huge ambassador for them and i didn't even know it's just absolutely gorgeous it also has lace at the very bottom and it's just classic other color i ended up getting is kind of like the champagne color it's absolutely gorgeous as well you can kind of see um this one has no lace or anything but it's still gorgeous they didn't carry it with lace or else i would have gotten it with lace but still it's a very gorgeous color i just love it it gives me very much blair waldorf next two are from paris and they're still from the same store um this also gives me blair waldorf and it's this gorgeous absolutely gorgeous blue baby blue um slip and it has also the tr like lace trim at the top and also at the very bottom it's just this perfection gray color once again just stunning these are absolutely stunning they have the little trim at the top and then the lace trim at the bottom as well and those are all the slips i got or i guess andrea got in europe shorts I went crazy in Zara, as I mentioned. I got the same color because these are just classic to me. Um, I don't want to call them, they're not linen. I don't know what necessarily material this is. But you can wear these literally with tank tops, like a cute top. Um, it just doesn't matter. And they're just perfection. I have a bigger butt, bigger thighs. So I personally like shorts that cover that. Um, especially for chafing during the summer. And I just don't like my butt out. So these are perfect. I just love how they look. They came with the nude belt. So I literally have the belt in three different. got this black version. Um, once again, I could just wear these in the summer with so many things, especially with heels. I feel like these are very classic shorts, very cat, like, um, business casual. In this nude color, and I just love it. These were 22 euros. Um, in the U.S., anything like this is literally $35.99 or $45.99. I went crazy with actual shorts. Um, I got this pair right here beautiful I, these are the mom shorts any shorts i usually show on my channel they're mom shorts um so gorgeous i love once again the little um cut of them it's just it fits perfectly to me i got these which i wore in ibiza already um they're just classic as well mom shorts these are extend not extended but they're not folded up so if i wanted to i could fold them up like the other shorts I don't have white shorts and i need white shorts um and I was just not gonna not get these because they're 22 euros. The black version, which I've worn already a lot. I've worn them like twice. Not a lot, but so far for the summer. Not even summer. We're barely in May, but by the time you're watching this, it's probably summer already. Because I wanted to post all the vlogs up. So we got the classic black. Got It's these. And once again, they just have like the same cut. It's pretty much the same thing. Five pairs of shorts. Um, Moving on. I got one pair of jeans. You're not going to be able to see them because I have them on currently. But I'll take a video and you can see it right here. And these were, I believe, 25 year olds, which is insane because, once again, jeans in Chernobyl and Zara are more expensive. And I just like the cut of them. Jeans that from Zara specifically that are my height, I just get them because it's amazing when I do find that. And Zara jeans usually fit me really amazing. Now going on to skirts. I went crazy with skirts because one thing I was looking for specifically was skirts and I was looking for skirts that had shorts under so skirts but I hate when you could tell they're shorts so when it's like a skirt in the front and then in the back you could tell it's a, a skirt I hate that these however are gorgeous these are as you can see plated they have like the plated like school girl skirt or like golf that's what these are reminding me of these are 22 euros as well and you'll see them like that i layered them so usually when i got the same color i kind of just put them next to each other so i know that i have it in multiple colors i got this gorgeous gray and as you can see it literally has the shorts right under and i love that so i got it in this nude color which is just perfection the fact that they have shorts and these do fit a little bit um shorter if that makes sense but i honestly just don't care because my butt is not out like i feel so secure when they're short under my skirt so i got these two colors and they're both from zara exactly the same thing except this one it kind of gives me more i don't want to call it army vibes but they have um these pockets at the side so you could put like whatever there and then another pocket on this side it also has the shorts 
you can kind of see it here um and then i got it in the white version so you can see it like the little pockets These two skirts are from bershka but i literally just i just love them they're just perfection next one is the skirt that i was talking about the heels it's also from zara it kind of has that same little like um look if you will this just gives me golf vibes like i can't wear this and go golfing even though i don't golf i just love it this pink with those pink heels i bought in rome is perfection now a funny story about this i got this in rome rome yeah no I got this in Madrid, I think. Um, I tried it on. It fits me a little bit big, but I did lose a little bit of weight on my Europe trip. And I remember thinking, oh, let's get the size below my size. I got it. I got to the hotel. I tried it on. My whole butt was out. So I ended up having to go back and just get my like the size that I did try on. And once again, I'm just going to get it altered to fit my waist a little bit better. But I just couldn't pass up this beautiful pink color. Next two skirts, once again, got it in the same color. I got white and black. I think I'll show you the white because it might be easier to see on camera. I love these. These are really long skirts. They look like this. Um, as you can see, they have like this tie right in the middle. Um, and in the middle of the skirt, we'll see if you can see, it has this opening. So your legs will show, but then it has this string that goes right in the middle. So it kind of covers you. It's a beautiful, stunning skirt. I wish you guys could see it on. And then it cuts in at your waist perfectly. Like it looks, your waist looks amazing. In general, I have a smaller waist. So this looks amazing on me. And I got it in the white version. This is from Poem Bear. Poem Bear was an amazing store to shop in finally the last two skirts i got um these i got in rome they're pretty much basic it's a white and then we have the black version the white version um it just has like this tiny little slit where your knee goes not knee where your thigh meets and then the black version also has the same thing little slit right here so yeah these are pretty much basic but they go with anything and everything store called alcott so if you want to see where I got the heels, the pink heels, any of that sort, just look for Alcott and it's all in that same street for dresses. We're on to the very last thing that I bought and that I got in Europe. I shopped in Poem Bear, Bershka, and Zara. This specific dress, I already wore. I wore it for Mother's Day. It's a linen material, so it looks like this. And it's very, very long and it has a slit in your thigh i got this gorgeous white dress which i wish they had this in black and this is also from poem bear it's just gorgeous the silhouette of this is absolutely amazing and it also has a slit at the thigh which is just perfect like i just love these type of dresses it's very long but it fits perfectly on me what i mean by that i am 5'1 so this fits probably right at my ankle a little bit higher this was actually 15.99 in euros and that is literally such a steal i got this i got this black one which it has like this detail at the boob area and then it has one little string that goes across your back and this one also has a little slit at the thigh this one is a little bit shorter but not short i want to say it's right below um my knee so it's still a little bit long but not too long and i just love this color 17.99 euros so very beautiful and great quality red and once again the same detail right here by the boobs it's a beautiful red i just love red it's my favorite color ever and it also has the slit in the thigh so it's very sexy and then once again it has a little string um that goes across your back this next red one um it's from zara it's very long this one does go all the way down to my feet but it's also still the perfect um length and what i love is that this one is completely open at the back it kind of does like a crisscross and it's gorgeous this dress was 29 um euros which in the u.s once again i feel like i keep saying this but this would have probably been like 69 dollars here and it's just a beautiful red gorgeous I want to call it a gown because it's very long. I have this gorgeous dress as well. All these dresses honestly give me very much Sophia Richie vibes. Um, just that old classic look. This was 25 euros and it's very long. It kind of gives it gives me beach vibes, but at the same time, it's just classic. Like I love this. This with the like Zara sandals, the Zara sandals I bought 
would be like beautiful next dress is from Bershka it's beautiful it has this black trim across it it's this nude color this one has no slit at the thigh but the back is completely open not open but it goes like in a like a deep v if that makes sense and then it ties here at the middle it's absolutely stunning i wore this for the vatican with the blazer on top which is also gorgeous i'm not gonna take out the blazer but this is the picture of it and the blazer is also from bershka and the combination was completely just perfect i just love shopping in europe it was like the best experience i've had then these next dresses honestly i'm gonna say it's the skims dupe these are all from point bear i'm pretty sure no from bershka i got the pink version i got the nude version and i also got the black version and as i'm telling you this is like the skims version of the long dress you know which one i'm talking about and once i saw the pink version i was like i need to get it and i got it in three colors and that was just literally all the dresses i bought as i was putting everything away i realized that i didn't show a couple other pieces I got this where is this from it's from poem bear as you can see it's a beautiful dress it's short i feel like this gives me very much beach vibes it's very simple in the front but in the back it ties it kind of goes crisscross it kind of dips as well so it's a beautiful summer dress then ne the next dress is kind of like this ribbed material i don't know how to describe it it's just pretty basic it kind of covers everything however the back the back is exposed so as you can see it has a whole cutout the one thing i don't like about this dress it is see-through so i'm gonna have to buy some shorts or something to go under it but then my friend also told me that i could wear this to the beach and i do agree with her that this would be like a great beach outfit then for tops i have this gorgeous knit sweater or top i guess what i like is that it has two ties one here and then one at the other side so it's completely open i have a tattoo in my ribs and then i plan on get another one in the other side so i feel like this top would just be cute to um show that i also love zara knitwear if it makes sense and this one was very cheap it was 15.95 euros obviously but this in the u.s once again it would be like maybe 25 um dollars or even more because it's knitwear so the fact that i have this for 15 euros was amazing these next tops are going to be kind of hard to see but i have it in black and white so you can see i did the same thing with the hanger so it pretty much looks like this you wear it like that but the back is completely open and you just pretty ma much make a bow I feel like it's hard to show but yeah this is the back i didn't necessarily make a bow but i did tie it and it would just be like this so your whole back is exposed and then there's just the bow but i just loved how simple it is at the front i feel like it's such a classic you can wear this with jeans or even a skirt and it would look beautiful and you know i had to get this in the black version as well and obviously the back is completely open and then you would just um tie it in a bow got this ring right here which is this beautiful pink color i also got the green version of it and then i am wearing the pink earrings as you can see right here i also got it in this beautiful green color which are just very stunning and i all i got all of this in rome and the very last piece i got was this beautiful blue ring like jewelry wise but they're absolutely gorgeous and stunning and i love them and that is pretty much it for my haul i hope you guys enjoyed it remember to like this video comment down below make sure to also subscribe for more videos and until next time bye guys